Welcome to Pyramid Fitness. We're at Studio Mix in San Francisco, California. Today we're going over four new ab exercises. I'm going to give you a little breakdown um, of four exercises you can combine together or break apart any way that you want and add into your workouts to give you that little extra burn in the stomach. So let's head to the floor and uh, let's show you what I'm talking about. First ab exercise, what I want you to do, you're going to sit down on the floor, bring the bottoms of your feet together. Now, depending on your flexibility with this exercise, your heels will either be closer to your groin or farther away. If you're not that flexible, legs will be farther away. If you are flexible, heels will be closer. And I'll show you more in just a moment. But edge of the foot, they stay down on the ground. I don't want your legs rising. So, feet are together. Boom. Hands forward, shoulders down and back. You're gonna tuck your butt underneath of you and roll back slowly. C curve of the spine, one vertebrae at a time, coming down, good. Just before your shoulders touch, come back through, oop, and reach to touch the feet. If your feet pop up, if you roll back and, oh, you come up, so what I want you to do then is extend the legs out farther and see if you've got that range there in the hip. So legs wider, curve down, and roll up. Good. The thing to think about when you're doing this particular exercise is your range of motion. If you go shorter with the range of motion and you don't let the shoulders touch and you don't come all the way through and you stay in this kind of short crunch where the stomach's always working, it's going to be a lot more intense. The other thing you can do is if you get tired, instead of keeping the arms forward, you can reach behind you, big breath, exhale, and pull through. All right, so for your second exercise, what I'm gonna have you do, and again, we're kind of working that C curve of the spine. You're gonna lie down on your back, bring your legs up to the ceiling, boom. Now, this is tough for everybody. What you really wanna focus on is a few things. The legs are heavy and the, the hips are not coming off the ground, okay? If your butt is coming off the floor, you don't have that range of motion, you're not flexible in the hamstrings, bend the knees a little bit, that's totally fine. What I want you to do from here, you're gonna reach out behind you, you're gonna do a little crunch, and then bring your fingertips together, curve out space and make sure that your lower back of your spine is pressed strongly into the floor. You're carving out space, you're imprinting strength on the front side of your body that carries through to the back side of your body. Touch the fingertips, keep the shoulders up, boom, reach back. So again, if you can do your legs straight, go for it. If not, bend. But you're gonna be swimming through with the arms, holding this kind of impressed position. Good, it's a constant squeeze. You're gonna go through, open up with the arms, kind of swimming. Ugh, and staying crunched. This is really, really quite tough. All right, on to your third exercise. What I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna lie down. I call this a starfish. You're gonna lie down, arms at the side, palms down on the floor, legs separate. I'll show you very quickly. So you're lying down, legs apart, arms out on the floor, palms down, press through with your right hand, lift the right foot, rotate and reach up. You can use that form of the supportive arm, reach, touch, the toe and the hand together. Rotate down, curve through the spine, boom, touch. And touch, good. Lifting up, meeting halfway. Again, with flexibility, if your legs are an issue, bend. Totally fine, bend the knee if you need to, bend the knee. So, this is great because you're working diagonally across the body. Uh, it's fun. All right, your fourth and final exercise, a little bicycle action, you'll be lying down on your back, Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Use the hands as, hands as a supportive cast. So the head, you're not working from the neck from in any of these exercises, in fact. The head's gonna stay relaxed. You're actually working from the chest down, working with the stomach. So don't stress, let the head rest in the hands. So we're lying down on our back. Boom, on our back, hands behind our head. Bring one knee up. Oh, let me switch sides. We're gonna bring one knee up. You're gonna pivot, put one elbow into the floor, and that's gonna help you get that lift and bring the opposite elbow and knee together or as close together as you possibly can. You're going to pivot, rotate and switch sides, pressing one elbow into the floor, keep those toes pointed, rotating back and forth, squeeze, start nice and slow, squeeze, and you're getting that height and let lift across the bleak by using that opposite elbow, pressing into and rolling and crunching across the body. It's a great way to get into the obliques and, and burn out the belly. So that's your fourth exercise. All right, well thanks for joining me. Those are your four new ab exercises to explore. Um, try these out. Again, start with lower reps, 10 reps. Quality is more important than throwing your body around. If you do 50 really crappy uh, uh, setups or ab exercises, 
they're not close to being as good for you as doing 10 or even five really good quality uh, uh, exercises, okay? So again, slow and controlled, practice that carving out uh, of the spine, the top of the bodies, being imprinted with strong gravity, you have the C shape of the spine, and uh, that's gonna allow you to get into the, that belly a lot more. So I hope you enjoy these. Thanks for joining Pyramid Fitness. Uh, let me know what you think, and also let me know what else you'd like to see with regards to the stomach or exercises in general. I'll see you again soon. Have a good one.